day two of personally documenting a terrible, terrible thing. Uh, I've stumbled upon a waterfowl hunting addiction, thanks to my friend Derek. And uh, I'm fortunate today to be joined on the front range by my buddy Rob from Deer Meat for dinner. You should definitely check out his channel here. Go follow him. Uh, they put up amazing content, he and his wife. And uh, actually, we met years ago on the day that they got engaged. That's right, man. Super cool. You know, you had just come off a gold medal at the Olympics. Next thing you know, we're out in the mountains filming a, a photo shoot. And it was just happened to be the day I was, I was going to propose to Sarah. And then when we were at SHOT Show, they invited me in along the way. They're like, oh yeah, we have this guy, uh, David Wise. I'm like, <laughs> like Mr. David Wise? They're like, yeah, you know him? I'm like, well, I'm a fan. Guy, yeah. What are you talking about, man? So yeah. cool. So I've never done this before. And there's so much work that goes into so it. It's like work. a dedication, you know? Look at all the decoys. Super, super cool stuff. Yeah, so well, I, we got, you guys got to see my first waterfowl hunt. Uh, or my first goose hunt, successful goose hunt, I should say. And now you're going to get to witness Rob's first, hopefully successful yeah, goose hunt. Fingers well. crossed. You know it's an addiction because I'm not just reluctantly willing to go hunt in these conditions. I'm hyped about going hunting in these conditions. We're fired up. It's, uh, these are ideal conditions, right, this Derek? This is when you know it's serious outside when you got to have a brush. Yeah, we're going to be brushing as much off. as we are going to be shooting, for sure. <laughs> This right here is a layout blind. When you're hunting in the field, you got a couple options. Sometimes people hunt in pit blinds, which is basically a box in the ground where your head is at ground level. Right. And a lot of these fields around here, the farmers don't want you digging big holes in their field, oh, right? For their right. tractors and such. So we use layouts. It's a really uh, temporary form of blind that allows you to get on the X where the birds want to be. So basically, you're laying in the blind and you have the door shut over the top of you. Uh, you'll see today's snow covers. So we're using some snow covers and putting some natural, actual snow on it. And then when the geese come, you just pop on out and say hello and Rob would you like a demonstration yeah that there would be go. great mr. David wise ladies and gentlemen straight off the super pipe into a layout blind that's right now, now if you have to compare what do you think is harder getting out of a layout to shoot geese or uh, an Olympic run well I can just say <laughs> when the birds are right here and somebody says get them the the feeling is very similar so when you're a tall guy like me and you you lay in here with just your eyeballs showing. And then somebody's job is gonna be to uh, call it out, keep your safety on, uh -huh. keep your barrel painted, pointed down range. And then you kinda, it's all in one motion. You explode out and shoulder the gun at the same time. So somebody give me a nice call. We'll see how fast I am at this. Kill Take them! Oh! <laughs> they don't there you stand go. a chance. <laughs> Game over! <laughs> the idea with the flags is get their attentions from a distance. Okay. And once the birds start coming, then we'll lay off the flags and just do a little more calling. But if the birds start to circle out around us and start to go away, we call getting on the corners where they're kind of starting to turn away from us, then we'll all start flagging real hard again. But as long as they're, they're facing at us, coming at us, we want to back off on the flags once we get their attention. Flags. <laughs> they're coming in low. <laughs> All right, down on the flags, down on the flags. Get ready with the guns. Yeah, They're gonna do one pass. No one pass. One pass. Ha! 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 Kill him! about my addiction before you should be really worried about it now because uh we're having another just banger of a day out here literally just so much fun no more skiing you're going straight I'm to just gonna be a goose hunter That's it. straight to goose hunting yeah find a trailer baby <laughs>
Move into the move into the front range. Here we go. There's the spread. There's the manhole. And there is the zone. Never go on a goose hunt without a good broom. That's right. That is absolutely 100% correct. Just uh, playing with decoys. Just playing with fake geese. Just playing with fake geese. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Here we go. All right, guys, that is it. Uh, we have shot our limit of geese. And the last goose of the day was this quill that I shot solo. I had one shell in the chamber. We were actually pulling decoys yep. and a group came in. I was the only guy even close to a gun. And uh, I swung up, had one shell still left in the chamber and let it rip. Yeah, but what he's not telling you is it was like a 70 yard shot. We're all <laughs> laying down like sprawled out in the snow. Throughout the field. And, and, and all of us are saying, Man, it's just too far. Pow! <laughs> like, and dumped them dead. Turns out these are extremely rare. Very rare. So uh, this is going to be my first ever waterfowl mount, this quill. So um, I just got to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to you guys uh, for bringing me and Rob out here. Yeah, um, and you have now saddled me up with a lifelong addiction. So. That's, all, that's all we could ever hope for. That's what it's, that's what what it's what? all about. Good people and good times is what it's all about. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. And thank you guys for watching. We could not do this without you. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt, man. It's my first, uh, first Canada goose ever, so it was just super cool. We learned so much from these guys. We, I just love the outdoors, and I love being around others yep. that love it and are as knowledgeable as you two. I always tell people my favorite thing about goose and duck hunting is it's a team sport. Yep. You know, we're all out there just trying <laughs> to get it done together. Everybody on. Absolutely. Created Sweet. a sickness. I'll never forget the cheers when you dropped that goose. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. That was amazing. I was just Next as surprised as anybody else. <laughs> yeah. No, it was awesome. Great day. Cool. All right, well, we're going to go... Uh, we're going to go... Pick up. pick up all these decoys. We are cleaning up a lot uh, of birds right now. Um, I'm finishing off with this nice Canadian, lesser Canadian, and uh, Rob hooked me up with a, a banger new knife. <laughs> I am so hyped about it. If you guys want to see how he prepared this, you're gonna have to check out Rob's channel, Dear Me For Dinner. It's worth your effort, worth your time. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm just, Excited to get into it. Ready to eat. Catch, clean, cook. Is that how? how That's it, work? man. So okay. the the moral of the story on deer meat for dinner is catch, clean, and cook. I try to show the whole circle. I love the hunt. I love the pursuit of the hunt, but I also love coming back to the house, oh, yeah. cleaning it, and cooking it. You know, because the food is what sets up the next hunt. Like we're gonna eat this and have a good time, and we're like, man, we gotta go do that again. It's a circle of life. You know what I mean? Yeah.